here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. a little bit of what we call trigonometry. So when you get to do maths, uh, GCSE, the higher paper, so this is hard maths by the way, um, then you would know how to calculate. Uh, so we're going to use the tools, we're going to use the trigonometry and we will be measuring the heights of rockets today. Let me show you how this works and then I'll show you how to use the telemeter. So we're going to have a rocket which is going to take off um, from the ground and go so far in the air. Now what I can do, I can draw a triangle and if I want to know this height, I need two pieces of information. I need to know this angle, which I'm going to call uh, A for angle, and I need to know the length of this line, which I'm going to call B the base. This needs to be as close to the same height, these two points need to be as close to the same point as possible, same height above sea level. Because if you're different, then you're going to get different readings. So we need to try and keep this on the flat wherever possible. Um, the other thing is, this line here needs to be a balance between really, really long and really, really short. I'll explain that in a minute when we actually use the clinometers. Now, how do we use this information? If I know this angle, then on the calculator, there's a button you might have seen on calculators called TAN. Has anybody seen that before? I know Matt has. Has anybody seen TAN? Got nothing to do with going to the beach. All right. um, when you calculate the TAN, tangent of an angle, that is defined as this length here, the height, divided by this length here, the base. And if I do some quick maths, I can rearrange this to say that the height equals the base times the tan of that angle. Okay. So if you want to use a calculator, you can do that. So all you need to do is to take the angle from the clinometer and multiply it by the length of the base. Now today, to keep it easy, we're only going to use certain lengths of the bases. And I've chosen 50 meters, 100 meters, and 150 meters. Because that way, you don't need to worry about how far away are you. And we'll use a wheel measure to measure those distances out. So we'd all have an accurate feeling of where we are. For those people that don't want to use a calculator or can't remember the formula, I've got a little, little look-up table. So literally, you look for where you're stood, how far away from the rocket launch are you. So I've got 50 meters, 100 meters, 150 meters. What angle did I read? And 
this will tell you the rocket height. So uh, we've just measured uh, the angles for Fred and Blue Ninja immediately following takeoff using the clinometers that we explained earlier on. And uh, we've got some really consistent results with what we expected to see. Uh, if I go, I'll just write the angles up to start with. So we had 77 degrees at point, uh, 50 meters, uh, 43 degrees, and that was confirmed by two people. So two people measuring the same angle is a good, accurate measure. Uh, 35 degrees at 150 meters, again that's by two people. And then at the 200 meter mark we had 20 degrees. As you can see, the numbers are falling, which is good, because that means it's consistent with what we'd expect to see. Before we do any calculations, I'll go on to uh, Blue Ninja and record the results for there as well. So that's 75 degrees at 50, 58 degrees at 100, again that was confirmed by two people, 49 at 150, again by two people, and 37 degrees at the 200 meter mark. So what we need to do now is to plug these numbers in, uh, so we need to multiply the base so there's an equation here, height and base, which for the first one would be 50 meters times the tan of the angle. Now, I've already done the work on this, so we can uh, just write the results up. So we start off by saying an estimate for Fred might be 217 meters. Uh, or it could be 93, or 105, or 72. Uh, so we've got some quite different results now, and I'll discuss that in a moment. And then for Blue Ninja, we've got 186 meters, we've got 160 meters, we've got 172 meters, Those are falling, and so um, we've got some falling here. So, why would they vary so much? So, tiny little bit of maths now. If we look at the graph of the function tan, starts at zero, it goes up fairly smoothly, and as it hits 90, as it goes towards 90 degrees, it gets really, really steep. So, tiny changes in the angle. Can result in a big change in our calculation. So for that reason, I'm going to put a line through the 50 meter mark, because I don't think it's reliable, because we're measuring such big angles. 77 degrees is right up there, it's nearly vertical, so I don't trust that. 200 meters, we've got tiny angles, so we're trying to fit the whole of the rocket launch inside 20 degrees, so I'm going to put a line through that as well. I don't trust those measurements. And as soon as I do that, what do we see? We see a pair of measurements for Fred, 93 and 105. So they're pretty close. And likewise for Blue Ninja, 172 and 160. Again, very close. So if I just do some averaging now, uh, so that would be an average of 99 metres. These are estimates after all. And for this one would be 166 metres. So we can reliably say that Blue Ninja went a lot higher, and I believe they were about uh, 99 and 166 metres respectively. Excellent. Thank you.